Okie dokie. In this problem, we'll be using the same techniques we talked about in 443C. However, the function they present us with is not in factor form. So in some ways, it might make it easier. In other ways, it might make it more difficult. Let's talk about why. The first thing I would find in this case is actually the horizontal asymptote. So working sort of backwards from the last type of problem. The horizontal asymptote will show itself when we identify the highest exponent terms, the x squared terms. And because the top and the bottom both have the same degree, 2, we take the coefficients. So negative 1 on top and 5 on the bottom. Negative 1 fifth equals y, y equals negative 1 fifth, is our horizontal asymptote. So we see that in a, and that's it. So just based on that, a will be our answer. Let's talk about why negative 8 and negative 1 fifth are the vertical asymptotes. So in the last one we talked about when it was in factored form, we would set each of those factors equal to 0 and solve for x. And really that's still the same technique except it's not factored already. So the, the objective would be to set the denominator equal to 0 and solve it by factoring. And so I'll do a quick factoring. Um, method and if you need more help on factoring I would recommend just watching other videos and getting more practice like that um, so the method I'll use is called the slip and slide method or slide method however you might have heard it before um, maybe you have never heard it given a name so what I do is take the 5 times the 8 so we get 40 on the end that makes it so the coefficient of the x squared term is 1 then we can factor this like usual so multiplying to 40 Adding to 41 would be 40 and 1, both positive. But then, before we set these equal to 0, we go ahead and divide back out by the number that we multiply by at the start, and that is 5. So if things divide nicely, we divide them nicely. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Uh, and then if they don't divide out nicely, we bring that 5 to the front of the x. And so now, these should be our factors. So we said x plus 8 equal to 0. Solve for x to get negative 8. 5x plus 1 equals 0. 5x equals negative 1. So x equals negative 1 fifth. And then that's the negative 1 fifth and negative 8 that we see here. So those are the x values that make the denominator equal to 0. Therefore, the vertical asymptotes. Let's go and do one more real quick. Again, horizontal asymptote we find from the coefficients of the x squared terms. Negative 3 over 1 is negative 3. So y equals negative 3 is what we're looking for. It looks like when I screenshotted this, I've already selected b as the answer, which we can see, you know, that is the case here. b is already the answer just based on the horizontal asymptote. And let's do some more factoring just for fun here. So we set the denominator equal to 0. And in this case, there's no slide method required. We just want two numbers multiplying to 16, but adding to negative 10. So negative 8, negative 2. Setting both of these equal to 0, we find that x equals 8 and x equals 2. These are the uh, vertical asymptotes. And that's it. All right, if you have any questions on asymptotes or these problems in particular, please let me know.